Hello friends, I am Farways and this is our third video in Flask Web Development. In the previous video we have learned how you can uh, create dynamic routes in Flask. Uh, today I am going to show you uh, how you can read and write cookies in Flask. Uh, basically uh, cookies are used for storing values and uh, for storing uh, user values in browser uh, and it's mostly used in logins and some other sections and today I'm going to show you how you can read and write cookies in Flask okay uh, for this first of all I'm going to create my Flask application uh, you can import from Flask mm. import Flask and now I'm going to instantiate the Flask Uh, and also I need two, uh, two routes uh, the first one is uh, set set cookie uh, return uh, setting cookies and uh, the second one is app dot route this is uh, get cookie. Uh, get cookie. Now you can return uh, get cookie. Now f underscore underscore name. I'm going to run my server app dot run uh, run and I'm going to make the debugging to true. Now let me check this. Okay, now I'm going to this. If I set, you can see setting cookie and route get get cookies. Okay, now uh, for setting cookies, uh, let me bring this in here. I need to import a uh, make response and in here we are going to make a response of response make response and you can write for example I have uh, set the cookies and uh, now you can simply write uh, response dot set underscore cookie set underscore cookie okay uh, it needs some parameters the first one is uh, cookie name I give this uh, my app and the <coughs> second parameter is the uh, cookie content I'm going to give uh, flask content okay now you can simply return the response uh, now I'm going to refresh this. First of all, uh, how you can uh, uh, see the cookies in uh, uh, Chrome. Uh, you can simply uh, open your settings. And in the settings you need to, uh, in here, you can in advance and privacy and security. And in here we have a uh, content setting. In this section you can see we have cookies and you can click on cookies, see all cookies and site data. <coughs> right now uh, I don't have any cookie in here. Uh, if Now I'm going to refresh uh, my page. You can see now it is in git. I make it set and hit enter. I have set the cookie. You can see we have response. And now if I open my uh, browser chrome browser and uh, now if i go to see all cookies you can see now i have a new cookie uh, this is a local house and one cookie if i click on this you can see my cookie name is my app this was the name that i have given in here uh, also you can uh, see the content of cookie but uh, you can see the name is my app it has a flask content the domain is this uh, and uh, uh, some other tasks, for example, the creation date, and also uh, right now I don't have any uh, creation date. Uh, but when I close the 
browser uh, my cookie will be deleted okay uh, now this was for s uh, setting the cookie now how you can get the cookie or how you can read the cookie uh, for this you need to import a request in here a request and uh, in this section I'm going to create uh, my app and you can uh, simply write uh, request uh, dot cookies dot get uh, and in here you can give your cookie a uh, name uh, my cookie name is my app uh, now you can simply write uh, return uh, return and the cookie uh, the cookie is plus the cookie content is my app okay uh, now save this and uh, we can now check this uh, let me uh, refresh and in here I can give this get and hit enter you can see uh, the cookie content is a flask content. This was the cookie content that uh, uh, we have uh, given in here. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And uh, for the further videos, uh, please please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be appreciated.